Hi there and welcome back dear friends and deep thinkers to Bavaria. We are the king of Bavaria, the forever ill king of Bavaria. We're ailing, we're feeling unwell, we're ill and only the exotic food ke uh, keeps us alive. We've just taken on a ward, the little Mrs. Love, uh, whom we got from a war. And uh, I mean, there's no one in our court that could be educated anymore and we're just... We're just hanging on, um, we just arranged everything, so we have a good realm around our capital, Regensburg, and um, we're converting again. It's all looking kind of good, but there's of course a lot, a lot that could be done, but that cannot at the moment be done. We'll just see what we can do here. Oh, we have unlocked home estates. Wonderful. Domain limit plus one. Ah, okay. Oh, well. We will get, we will get something one day. Truest of the Catholics. Oh, Udalist. Udal Schalk becomes our acclaimed knight. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, we have these two knightly orders. Hmm. Not holy orders, okay. Ha! Ah, but now let's look at Ban Pribuja's friendship. What? Neighboring ruler of Slavonia? He's Catholic. Ah, uh, I cannot shake the feeling that the man's intentions are not pure. What? What is he? Uh, can he not leave me in peace? Ah. Uh, why can he not leave me in peace? Yeah, we call us. We, we mistrust friendship. We're, we're a difficult personality, I would say. Ah. And we're starting to get uh, a little bit reclusive, I guess. Jakob Raui has a claim on the county of Krauva. Yeah, but we, we kind of want to expand in another direction, so it's not really relevant to us. Relevant to us is the art of war and, of course, getting some income to uh, get out of debt. Arrived in Regensburg to pay homage to you. Have you brought money? Oh, Vernhardt, you're so good. Yeah, we made you the Frontenhausener and you give us money. It's so good. Vernhardt from Frontenhausen. We gave him Frontenhausen. He just came from there. And we now granted him this county. So, he's good. Ah, we could join Prince Bishop Emrico's Grand Tournament. Oh yeah, in Constance, that's quite close by. The traditional um, king election um, capital and oh, so many, so many grand councils were, ha were held there. And not to forget, Jan Hus was burned in, in Constance. Uh, <laughs> why not? Um, let's see. It's only 48 travel days. It's wonderful. What do we need? Do we need a forest guide? Boah, not really. It's a low chance of danger. And a mountaineer? Not even. We can save some money that way. But we we would like a cavern master. Yeah, why not? Join the tournament. Will we? We will. A tentative start. My fellow attendee, Prince Bishop Imrico, is hosting a grand tournament competition in the vicinity of Constance. And time has come for us to part. Ah, uh, yeah. While my ailing body is affecting my health, I shall be damned if I will not attend this. It promises to be a spectacular event spoken about for years to come. I suppose we must. Unlanded knights will accompany us to compete. Yes, yes, yes. I have arrived at the site of the tournament here in Constance. Oh, look at look at him. He's also ill. Oh my God, the ill, the ill. Be but he's so ah. Oh. He's also a model of health. Though not all the revelers have yet arrived, throngs of people wander through the colorful surroundings, all looking forward to the forthcoming displays of skill and prowess. There are few places so excellent to relieve some stress and enjoy oneself as a tournament. I tend to take full advantage. Um. Uh, we could recruit some knights, but that would cost us money, I believe. 
Do we could triumph? No, gods, no. Uh, we could murder someone? No, please not. We could try to befriend someone. Is there someone we know? Mm. Duke Gundakalf to roll. Duke Wickman the Brave of Jeldre. Yeah, why not? Um, I mean, we're not stressed, so recreation is not something that is necessary. Why not talk to him? Can't wait for it to start. Recital. Aurel paid an entry fee. Eckhart von Göttingen. Wow. Everyone's doing. Wow, we're fully stressed. We did not qualify for Prince Bishop Emrico's recital contests. The entrance mill about the main tent warming up vocal cords and memorizing stances as the crowd fills the amphitheater. A newcomer called Egbert, herefore unknown among the poets and bards of St. Gallen, has gathered much interest this year. May the best win. Oh, that stressed us so much. What the heck? I wonder who will win. I have a bet to play. No, no. We'll just wonder who will win. We're, we don't have money to bet. Well versed. Guikal is clearly winning. So long as his nerve remains steady, a win is all but guaranteed. A single word out of place is enough to get the crowd groaning despairingly at this point, whilst pithy deliveries cause tumultuous applause. Spectators stamp their feet and cheer as competitors approach the stage. A feverish atmosphere well underway. There are precious few competitors left to go, and even less time. It all comes down to this. One last verse. But, oh, that's the ceremony. Impressive. What's this? Ah. The contest winner! Trumpets sound, the crowd clamors, competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over, and someone's moment in the sun is being readied. A herald steps forward, voice booming out across the scene. After many trials, some tribulations, and above all else, some truly spirited competition, we have our final three. In third place, the gutsy Count Andre. Coming to a close second, Count Sieghardt. That, of course, leaves us with a victor, Duke Gundbert of Augsburg. And wow, he's our best friend. <laughs> Most entertaining show of skill. The best man won. The contest in front of me is reaching a crescendo. The participants evenly match. I grip the wooden railing in front of me and yell my appreciation along with the rest of the crowd. Said yell, however, swiftly turns to a strangled cry as I feel something trickling down my spine, some sort of fluid, something both hot and cold somehow. What? I spin on my heel to find myself confronted by Russo, his goblet swishing the with the remains of the unidentified drink currently crawling its way down my back. Now then, watch where you're going, you burbles, gesturing, accusing me uh, at me with a cup. You should be more careful. <sighs> Gods, get this loathsome boar out of my sight. And the conclusion. The sun comes down on the final day of the tournament, and the masked crowds begin to disperse. I find myself ruminating over the results. To Gunpert's mastery of verse, saw them a worthy winner in the recital. Wickman and I are yet to establish a firm friendship. We didn't even meet him. I look forward to the next one. What a great occasion. We lost some stress. We yeah, and to Gunpert no, to Gunpert lost some stress. And we're a tourney goer, which gives us less stress in the future, which is great. Ah, oh, he's a Yambic virtuoso now, and he's got the prize brooch. Finished the grand tournament though, and we're traveling back. What has happened while we were gone? Oh, I don't know. What happened here? Ludbert died. Mm. Adalbert improved. Ludbert died. Oh no! And who will replace him? Our, our, our precious spy master. Yeah, of course. We will take someone who has full intrigue as a spy master. No, no, not at all. Uh, we'll take Count Walter of Jutterburg. He likes us at least. 
Count Walter. Yeah, and he looks dashing in this in this attire. It's wonderful. The Prince Archbishop now likes us again. Oh, wonderful. Mm, because we don't have too many. Oh, we have we are we have too many duchies too. What do we have? Nordgau, Carinthia, and Bavaria. Where's Carinthia? Do we have anything in Carinthia? Knittelfeld, Kammersburg, Kärnten. So this is Carinthia. Let's give it to someone. Uh, Count Harold. Count Leupold. Uh, we should give it to the guy who holds this. So um, the Duchy of Carinthia he'll get. So he can build the building. Here you go. And where is Nordgau? Oh, there's Nordgau again. Yeah, 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 I see. I see how it is. Um, Eichstadt. Oh, Lothar von Lengenfeld. Okay, you'll, you'll become the Duke. Yeah, he's ailing too. So his heir ha, 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 will become that. Here we go. He hopes for an heir. Yeah, he, he's competent though. He has as much threatened my life as um, guarded it. A rival. Ah, yeah. thank God I can go inside again. Eckhart gained prestige and trained to rule my good Eckhart, my good possessed Prince Eckhart. Oh my goodness. Uh, we can hold court here yeah, once we are fully in here again. What's going on with our income? Why don't we have income anymore? Now we have income. That's wonderful. Breaking fast with a friend. I'm on my way to the church one morning when I run into Queen Hildegard who's carrying a small bag. Glancing around, she conspirationally opens it, revealing all sorts of food and drink. It's such a beautiful day. Come join me outside for a morning picnic, she says. I start protesting that I'm on my way to the church. Hildegard interrupts me. God will still be there later, but these saffron cakes won't. God is more important. Uh, a true sin would be letting this opportunity pass. Sure, we want to be friends with our wife. Even if it's the last thing we do, which could be... Which could definitely be an option. As we're ailing around. And what? Oh, Chieftain Valenti of Ukria? Uh, why can he not leave me in peace? Uh, wait... And Puntop, Kuntbold, yeah, okay. We will, I mean, we're just, so we're transferring vessels, definitely. Hmm. Yeah, once we got some money, we can maybe do for something. Oh. Milo is a bit of, oh, we inherited something. We inherited the county of Wittenberg from Count Bund, Guntbold. Oh my goodness me. Okay, now we have the county of Wittenberg again. Gundpold died. Great job. But hey, it's okay. We can even hold it. Ha. What is that? Sparring grounds and longhouses? It's a tribal hold. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> it's going to be expensive. Uh, better give it to someone else. I think our son is taking that much better. You again, Wittenberg, son. Have fun with this godforsaken place. Mm, yeah, we could start to host tournaments again because we have money, but... Who knows? Who knows? 
absolute control for counties yeah and then we'll be overseer which will be good which will be good Our control growth and everything as there's still control to be had uh, i mean let's dare to hold court now right sufficient money Duke Lothar, my vassal, strides forward. My liege, Lengenfeld, is among the greatest houses of Bavaria. What? Nordgauer council should always be heard by the king. Not enough to be a duke. I'm faced with Gebhardt's sons of, son of wolf's sad eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as his kinsman Matthias gently ushers him towards my throne. King, he laments, the boy has been at Dietpold's court. No one to watch him. Oh, God. He's a He's a stupid, possessed, the son of wolves. What can be done with such a child? It's too stressful. Not the crown's problem. I propose a cadastral survey of all the... No, it's too expensive. My business here is done. We shouldn't have done this. We shouldn't have done this. Ah, this is all too stressful for us and too expensive. Rich guard comes of age. Oh, she's an adult now. Wonderful. A natural administrator. That's so great. Mm -hmm. Count Gundpold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll marry Gundpold. Son. And there's an activity here. Chieftain Vratislav has a tournament coming up. Yeah, join the tournament. We need to relax there. What needs to be done? Uh, there's a lot of medium danger. How about we hire a forder? That doesn't do anything. A forest guide, maybe. And a mountaineer? Wonderful. <coughs> join the tournament. Have some weird people that are wounded and hateful to her, towards us recruited to help us and we have a tentative start my fellow attendee chieftain Ratislav is hosting a grand tournament yeah with our ailing body i suppose we must go though we want to relax we're traveling and we're traveling weird whispers aha uh -huh. i've noticed Julius avoids me more than usual our courtier Ah, Arnulf is a brush sycophant. I'll be a way better king than him. What? Okay, I mean, he's a mastermind philosopher, but... Uh... Borel, take care of it. And we've arrived at the tournament. We want to, re uh, we want to relax here. Few places so excellent to relieve some stress and enjoy oneself as a tournament. Yeah, I wanted to start. There is a contest of wrestling. Qualification threshold. We will likely not qualify. Uh, sure. Aha. Uh -huh. Hopefully we will not be stressed by not qualifying. A raid around the sun's shirtless contestants warm up for their bouts as the herald announces the contest's commencement. Some of the competitors rub dirt onto themselves, others opt for oils, all looking for a scant advantage in the coming bouts. The wrestling qualifiers has come to an end and it's clear who will be put forward for the quarterfinals. As it stands, the varied pitches and volumes of the crowd's chairs leave no question as to the favourites. May the best win. Yeah, okay. I have a bet to play. No, may the, may the best win. The bout between Adelbert and Ratislav has been decided. It's an unsatisfyingly one-sided bout. No one was surprised when Adelbert of Spreewald firmly pinned Ratislav and was declared the winner. He's through to the semi-final. Very good, Mr. Ortenberg. Don't mess with Bavarian Knights. And Adelhard and Udelschalk... Ah, uh, no, Adelhard won. 
of House Beck. Oh well. Not my favorite night, it has to be said. The wrestling quarterfinals are over. Count Albert of Sprewell, Count Werner of, of Klingenberg, Adelhard and Homer have reached the semi-finals. An interesting round. I shuffle aside to let someone by, but no sooner have I done so as then they start talking. Ah, King Arnold, fancy seeing you here. I open my mouth to respond, but Stefana is too quick. I don't suppose you've got any favorites. Someone you think is going to take home the win? Me? Yeah, I got a good feeling about Werner. Uh, of course it has to be Werner. Let's make a friend. The bout between Homer and Werner has been decided. Homer is through to the final. <laughs> a fine contest. And Adelbert is going forward. Through to the final. Don't mess with Adelbert. Yeah, yeah. Adelbert from Spreewald and Homer have reached the final. An interesting round. Who is there for us? Adelhard, the victorious Beck. What? No, no, no. Adelbert has, has won. Adelbert of Sprewald has won it. Don't mess with the Bavarian knights. Wonderful. Ah, so good we made him a knight. Uh, I not. I mean, not a knight, uh, even a count. Tournament face resting uh, contest winner. Trumpets sound, the crowd claimers. Competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over and someone's moment in the sun is being readied. A herald steps forward, voice booming out across the scene. The many trials, some tribulations, and above all else, some truly spirited competition. Adelbert beat Homer in the final count. Adelbert is our winner, a most entertaining event and a well-deserved win. He gains some money. Wonderful. The conclusion... I look forward to the next one, and Adelbert was an indomitable opponent as they took first place in the wrestling. What a great occasion! Mm, let's finish the grand tournament. We were successful. Count Adelbert of Sprewald now has a wife. Surprisingly. If the language barrier, Borrell has been trailing us around Lobdeburg for hours, and though he at least swallowed his pride and asked for direction, he does not appear to be an expert lexical speaker. Uh, speaker, let me try, but we get lost. Oh, great. We can sponsor someone. Wants to forge a goblet? Ah, wonderful. Ralph. Hmm. Recruit him to court. Sponsor his inspiration. We can even afford that. Yeah, let's forge the Goblet of Fire. Here we go. Let's find him a spouse. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, he'll be married to... I don't know. No... Uh, I don't really know to to someone else. So, yeah, I mean, Christine. Yeah, she's not calling. He can marry her. He's lowborn. It will be a matrilineal marriage. Here we go. And he's still young. He, he can't do that. He's a dishonorable villain. But we want him to stay here while he forges. Nature and nurture. He, he considers himself Bavarian now. Ah, Mishy's love. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, how about us? Can we... Uh, oh, we have, we have inherited the county of Jutteburg from Walter of Jutteburg. Ah, uh, okay. Thank God I could go inside again. Walter! Walter died. Ah. Uh, people die all the time. Count Heribert of St. Pelton. Wonderful. Yeah, he's our son-in-law, I think. And now we got... Well, I don't know what we got. Oh, yeah, we got this one county here. Jitterberg. Jitterberg. The Duchy of Lausitz. Whew. 
Whew. Okay, I mean, we could keep it for now. We can keep it. What? Matthias died. He's no longer our court poet. Ah. No. No, no, no. And we don't want to create a... Oh, look at that. There's Germany. Queen Constanze of Germany. She's fighting against Duchess Emma of East Franconia in the Liberty War. And she's of House Orleans, the dynasty of Garoldonen. For real? For real? How Sully is at least dynasty of Carling. Duchess Emma. Uh, yeah, we cannot help her, unfortunately. May she win, though. And she's, she's currently winning, too, so... Might be something. The Munificence of Coleman. In the past few days, neighboring Chieftain Coleman's been visiting my court. Ah, and he's been giving everyone gold. I can be even more generous. No, no, no. I should take advantage of his silly generosity, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take advantage. He's not convinced, okay. <laughs> uh, it might have been a chance. I mean, let's see about us. Accolades lack successors. Oh my goodness. Um, why do they lack successors? They have a lot of successors. Okay, I mean... I think it's okay. There could be more, I know. But... It should be okay. Uh, we could expand the army again, you know. That would be a wise decision. Truly wise. That's how we are. Okay, Ralph wants a new forge. Okay. What about Silesia? Hmm. Silesia is at war with Wishowa. These guys. Interesting things happening here. Interesting things. There's a lot of war going around here among the Slovenskians. It's definitely interesting. And we have still some Widdelists here. And they have a lot of alliances, apparently. Oh, yeah. Also Vidalists. Yeah, they seem to be good. They seem to be doing good. And we? What will we do? Well, we don't know yet. We are very stressed, apparently. And we should have a look about what we can do. Yeah. Let's do some stress coping alone. I'm truly at peace. And then, mm, I mean, we could train for a tournament. But uh, I think we are... We're not really tough enough for that at the moment. I mean, we're still pretty sick, right? We're still ailing. But all in all, things are looking cool. And um, yeah, we don't know how, how the whole Germany thing develops. If Germany holds its own and does not lose itself to the Carlings, there's a lot of options open there. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Kahn signing out. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. May the Carlings, the Carolingians, rule forever and save us all in the time of need. See you soon. Happy gaming.